Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Indie Hideout. Today we're going to be looking at Dynamite Jack and this was made by um, Phil Hasse? Has Hasselli? No? Hasse. I should really like learn to speak. Okay, so it's basically a puzzle game. Um, a 2D puzzle game from a bird's eye view as you can see. And the easiest way to explain the gameplay is um, Bomberman and Metal Gear Solid's Love Child. That's pretty much how the gameplay and the game uh, controls work. Uh, so as you can see, you, you're wandering around the mine. You The story is you play as a space marine, or you were a space marine, and the enemy captures you and forces you to work in a mine. And then you uh, attempt to escape. So you're playing the escape right now. So you go through the levels, you collect these uh, minerals and things that add for bonuses. You also find bonus maps as you play through the the maps. And there's 28 maps in total. Uh, again, this is another game with a map editor, map creator. So hey, I mean, you know what I always say about them, they're awesome. Uh, and as you can see there, it's got absolutely murdered by one of the guards. It basically works, if you shine your flashlight in their face, they instantly turn around and kill you. There's no life bar, if you get spotted you die. And you can see what I meant by the Metal Gear Solid thing, where it's... He's got his flashlight on a kind of like 45 degree angle. And if you're caught within that flashlight, then he sees you and you die. There is, uh... There's actually different enemies, there's not just guards. Uh, for example, you get scientists who don't have flashlights but um, they tend to be put in rooms with light sources and if you move into the light sources then they zap you with some kind of crazy laser rifle which uh, again instant kills you. There's also aliens, creepy wee little alien things in the game which attempt to kick your ass uh, which is comes to my only disappointment in the game which is the fact that as you can see here in this level there's these aliens at the top of the screen and they're kind of like caged up and if you free them I thought they would wreak havoc you know you'd have the guys firing at them and they'd be ripping them apart and shit like that but that doesn't happen the aliens seem to just hate you for some reason I have no idea why they just hate your guts they completely uh, ignore the guards the guards completely ignore them when they're running around free and uh, they just kick your ass. It's it's kind of um, kind of disappointing. I was hoping for um, because I mean everyone loves it when you uh, you unleash um, your enemy's own creations on themselves. That's just so gra gratifying. It's awesome, but you can't do that here. So that was my only disappointment in the game. The rest of the game is pretty damn fun. Like I said, you get 28 levels to play through and a map editor which you can share with friends and things like that. Which just makes the content... Uh, I must say this like almost every game, but it just means you've got unlimited content. I love map editors. So you've got that. So there's not only enemies that uh, uh, kind of hinder your escape here. Um, Oh, I should mention also you can kill their enemies with the bombs, which is always fun. But yeah, you get like laser turrets, um, laser beams that try and stop you. And yeah, it is a really fun game. There's checkpoints throughout so you don't have to start from all the way at the beginning. Because I hate that in some games where the uh, you don't have any autosave features or any checkpoints. And you've got to slog through stuff you've already done a thousand times. Because believe me, I died a hell of a lot in this game. <laughs> the first few levels are really easy. After that, it's horrible. Alright, yeah, another thing I want to mention here is um, the enemies are quite cool. Like, for the guards, if you shine the flashlight in the face, they instantly spot you and kill you. Of course, makes sense. Um, but the aliens here are actually scared of light. Which is a cool little twist. So when they come running at you, you just turn over the flashlight and they go running off in the opposite direction. Which is a pretty fun mechanic to play with. Uh, it's all single player, there is no multiplayer. Um, of course you can share maps, but that doesn't count as multiplayer. Um, what else is there? Hmm. Dum -dum 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 -dum. So yeah, there's, there's no multiplayer, there's not much story to it. I mean, you do get the interest in the beginning. That's shown with um, uh, art stills, which is pretty cool. 
you know. Uh, but other than that, there isn't a great deal of story. It's, it is just a basic puzzle game, but it is very, very fun in the way it's done. I mean, who doesn't like Bomberman and Metal Gear Solid? Anything that combines them to kind of gameplay elements is going to be well received. So here at the Indie Hideout, we're going to give Dynamite Jack a 5 out of 10. So if you like the look at this game and you want to try it out, all the links are in the description below. Um, it's uh, another one of the games in the Humble Bundle. So yep, again, all the descriptions, at <laughs> all the details in the description below as usual. And uh, please subscribe, it would help me out a lot. And we have two giveaways uh, over the next two weeks, which is going to be Night Sky and Super Hexagon. So all you got to do to win them great games is be a subscriber. And you will be picked on the 3rd of April. Alright guys, see you later.